Hello, welcome to the Let's Speedwalk Kobe All Monsters Asterisk Episode 3. Uh, we're going to be getting all 310 of the monsters that you see there. Uh, we just started Ice World. We have some monsters that we need to get past level 1 because they will die if they try to get through Ice World before getting some good levels. And I'm going to try and pick up some of the conversation threads that I dropped in the midst of uh, playing the game last time. So I'm going to do my best. Uh, let's uh, return to playing the game. Wait, oh, let me just check. How's my HP? I'm fully healed. Okay, that's all I wanted to check. All right, three, two, one. So... I mentioned that the shopkeeper in Great Log sells a D scale, and there's a very specific reason for that. The reason is you can't remove held items from monsters manually. You have to swap in order to get the item that they're wearing off of them. So, ooh, eh, eh. no, no, no. <sighs> Probably gonna have to go back to Great Log. It's fine. Uh, happens. What we need is an encounter with one monster. So the D scale is extremely cheap, and the, the reason that it is there is if you want to get an item, like if I wanted to get my war ring off of my dark crab, I could just buy a D scale and swap it. Now as it happens, I have other held items. Where are they? They're in the bank, the vault. If you breed a monster that is holding an item, they automatically send the item to the vault. The monster master guy even says this. Like, held items will be in the vault, don't worry about it. So I can go pick up that mermaid scale that my crust pet was holding if I particularly cared to. I don't particularly care to. Maybe I'll do it if I'm bored or going there anyway. Do you even have any like tiny metals to drop off or whatever? I don't. But I could do that just for a little extra chunk of defense on a monster that badly needs it. Uh, it's, it's available. It's only 10 defense though. That's not a whole lot. So now you know why the shopkeeper sells a D scale. Ugh, it's giving me brutal encounters here. Do not like this. Let me leave, please. There's no particular reason why I'm getting three monster encounters as opposed to ones with one or two. This area has plenty of uh, encounter tables. Uh, with one monster in them. That's not the problem. Just getting a little bit unlucky, but we'll we'll get stable, I guess, soon. We'll have a stable party soon. It's just a little bit volatile when you have two babies that can't do anything. Um, another thread is I wanted to talk about pluses. So a plus system is basically the game's way of rewarding you for breeding monsters over and over, like the same monster over and over. The way that it works is it combines the levels of the two parents uh, and it can be within a range uh, from... Obviously it has to be at least 20 because the parents both have to be level 10, but and it can also be up to 198 if both monsters are level 99. 99 is the level cap. So it's chunked up into five sections. Uh, and basically meaning uh, if you're just like level 20 to 39, I think it gives you plus one. We're at, but you can also get up to plus five if your monster's levels were high enough. I'm getting so unlucky here. Please just let me leave. Did I mention that if you die, you lose half your coins? It's not great, but you can also store coins in the vault. So you know what? I have a bad feeling about this, and I'm going to store my coins uh, in the vault and get up the mermaid scale for whichever of my monsters is weaker. I'm almost certain that it's the wyvern, but there you go. Uh, and what pluses do uh, is they raise your maximum level. I'm pretty sure it's plus three levels per plus that you have. Monsters, based on their species, have an innate maximum level, but every plus that you add allows them to exceed. You can only do it in multiples of 100. Okay. There's the merm scale, right where we left it. Who needs it more? 
Yep, the wyvern needs it more by a lot. Um, so yeah, uh, over time my monsters will get some good pluses. I am pretty sure that the three monsters that I will be uh, using for endgame content will have enough pluses to have their max level be 99. I'm not going to grind until they're level 99, but it'll be nice to know that they can get there, uh, if that makes sense. So, that's pluses. Uh, it's ultimately not that impactful of a thing, but... It's, it's good to know, especially if you're playing the game casually. It's nice to know that uh, if you stick with the same monster, even as you keep breeding it, uh, it does get stronger, or it can be stronger. Another conversation thread, version differences. So there's Kobe's Journey and Tara's Adventure. The biggest difference is encounters. About 25% of the encounters are different, and that is actually the reason why I'm playing on Kobe. Uh, it's because the 25% of monsters that are different for Kobe are much, 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 much more useful for uh, efficiently breeding the things that can... <sighs> that can only be bred uh, with specific ingredients, uh, if that makes sense. Oh my god, please just let me move on from this. I, th I'm having horrendous luck. It is not usually that bad. And now I have to leave anyway. Jesus Christ. There is a downside to playing as Kobe, but I'm going to have to talk about it during the bonus bonus key worlds section when that section of the run starts. Um, but just overall, there's going to be some monsters that are very helpful, and in Tara's Adventure, they're just not there. So that's why we're playing on Kobe. Another difference. Uh... Let me just... I did not remember to load up my notes document. Ah, yes. There are extra worlds past the story world. Um, and two of them are different. Uh, one is... Uh, actually, yeah. There's, there's two different sets of... I swear to fucking god... <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna move somewhere else because maybe maybe in the maybe the encounter tables there really are that bad, but like This is just being cruel. Alright, that's better. Hopefully I'll live. Wasting a love water. going um first is like an actual world world where there's like stuff to do why did you attack <sighs> these monsters are really disappointing me uh The encounter rate in Ice World generally tends to be pretty low, though, so it's fine. We made it out of there alive. We didn't lose 18 of our 36 current gold. This is fucking whack, by the way. Like... Come on! Kobe gets the Elf key to go to Elf World. Uh, Tara gets the Lonely Key to go to Lonely World. Elf World has twice as many different kinds of monsters as Lonely World, and also they're better. Like, Lonely World just fucking sucks. Was that really so hard? Just don't attack my Wyvern, please. That's fine. Squiz can take it. Oh my god, Dark Crab, do not... Okay, well, I guess that was fine. Cool, we finally did it. You can see that was plus 5 HP, plus 3 HP. Normally it would not be very much for a Dark Crab, but that War Ring is already uh, putting in a lot of work, making the monster stronger. Nose increase, so good defense spell up. Heal, that is why I'm using Wyvern, is because it gets access to the heal spell. Now I have some innate healing on my team. I am not as defend, uh, dependent on uh, items. Also, Antidote, which would have been very 
handy when we were doing the pirate fight. Raw magic's not very good. Okay. Let's heal up. I'm gonna do another one, though, before going back to grab the Wind Beast. Um, I want these guys to be a little bit beefier. So, yep, there's Elf and Lonely. There's also the Brawn, Brawn Key. Kobe gets the Brawn Key, and Terra gets the Baffle Key. Those lead you to towers with, like, challenging fights, but none of them are recruitable, and the prizes are, like, completely ignorable. Like, it does not help the run at all. That we would have no reason even get to get those keys, let alone go any amount of distance in them. Uh, so, we're not worried about that one. Ooh, Wind Staff, that's some money. Uh, ooh. Money. Nice. Okay, so we're doing all right. Uh, all right, another difference. Uh, later on, very, very late in the story, before the post-game, there's going to be a fight, and the fight is different depending on which version you have. That's it. I would say that Kobe's is a little bit harder, but it, 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 it's fine. You're just doing a slightly different fine. Ambush, great. Ah, uh, Ice World is not being nice. Let's do Frigid Air just for fun. It's not a very good technique, but it is a technique. We'll get to see the animation for it, at least. I like it. It was actually all right there. Um, yeah, and then the only other difference is going to come up in the next world, which is Sky World. I think it's the most amusing difference. I'm actually not going to spoil it. Uh, I'm going to put everyone on charge. This is fine. So that's the difference. Those are version differences. The main reason that I'm playing on Kobe is for Elf World and for the better encounter sets, uh, encounterable monsters in general. So there you go. Those are some answered questions that I raised from last time. I hope that that satisfies your curiosity. We got Stop Spell again. Very nice. That's on our Dark Crab. Oh, and now we also have uh, Stop Spell and Poison Hit on our Wyvern, too. These guys are strong enough. These guys are strong enough to continue on through ice and help out our third baby, the Wind Beast. So, we're in good shape now. Just gonna go grab him. starting to flood a little bit on the island. There's some land tiles that are missing. It already got some levels from the fights that we did. But it doesn't have any wildness, so it's going to be completely obedient to us. I want them in that order. So Now we're going to go through ice for realsy reels. Thanks game for making me waste 10 minutes for arguably no reason. It's fine. It's fine. Hopefully from this point on we don't need to be super concerned about monster fragility like it gets easier over time and then of course at a certain point we're not breeding our main team anymore and things get ultra stable to the point where i will probably never lose an encounter ever again probably there are some circumstances where i could lose uh, but they're very unlikely tailwind that only affects breath attacks i think You can just tell by the HP and MP that these monsters, which have only been bred, like, once, are much better than anything that you could find in the wild naturally. Like, breeding is the way to win in this game. 
some of monsters are like wildly overpowered compared to the other monsters so if you were playing this game casually you'd be doing some trial and error before you realize that grizzly is strong enough to just completely destroy everything without even having to try but for now upgrade to heal more heal more heals more as you might expect there were a whole bunch of skills that were delayed because we leveled up on the farm and did not have a chance to learn them, but we learned them now, so it's all good. Let's bust out the heal more. 5 MP, and it heals the same amount as a love water, so pretty good. Right, that's it for items. We're going to go to the first place. I forget if this is Norden or Nofor. I think this is Norden. Uh, is it here? Tiny metal. Yep, there's a tiny metal here. Uh, we're gonna get a log twig, and I'm gonna explain what a log twig does very soon. I'm also gonna get one more warp staff, because we can. We have some gold in storage. Uh, obviously, because I got that gold drop on the ground, I don't feel a strong desire to pick it up yet. So here's the log twig. That's the door shrine. What? The door shrine? But I thought it was over there, a couple of spaces down and to the right. Well, you're correct. But the log twig allows you to move the door shrine. Uh, and you can move it anywhere on the overworld of a, of a world that you're in. There's no restrictions. There is a limitation though, which is you can only have one log twig active, uh, period. Um, so I just moved the log twig in ice. So now, now it's in a different spot. If I were to use another log twig in Pirate to move the door shrine there, the one that I moved in ice would be gone, and the door shrine would turn to its default position where we were doing our grinding to get the baby strong. So, a friend staff. We like friend staffs. We love doubling our attack. And we don't have the spell to double our attack yet, but we will. The spell that does the exact same thing that a friend staff does. We will get it. <laughs> it's very good. Oh no, I don't need to have the Wind Beast on defense anymore. Uh, I'm using Stop Spell because I really do not want that Sacker to use increase and just make this take a lot longer. Okay. Ah, I forgot to change tactics. Wind Beast is still guarding itself. Oops. Log Twigs are very useful. Um, I'm going to use a very specific log twig spot in sky that will make things a lot better after that i probably will not use one the the best i can see for using a different log twig other than the one that i plan on using in sky is if there's a bonus world where something super super important is far from the door shrine and i need to grab it a whole bunch then i could see using a log twig again and removing the one in sky but unlikely and i'm just using the log twigs now because they're 50 gold and they make uh moving around here slightly faster. I'm not actually sure if it's faster overall to go out of your way to buy the uh, log twig and use it. Probably it saves time. Probably it saves time. But it's not very much if it does. So, um... I forget. I don't think I actually talked to the guards. I guess I don't have to. Um, that was the plot. The plot is Ice is having some problems. There's three kingdoms. All of them are having, I guess you could call them royalty problems. Uh, their kings and queens, etc. are not doing so hot. And there's a problem with the mine that is southwest of here. We will be going there, as might not surprise you. They just mentioned that there's trouble in a certain area, and this is a JRPG. We're probably going to have to solve that trouble. The king of Norden is saying all of the gold in the mine is ours. And that is not very amenable to the interests of the Western Kingdom. I forget what they're called. Um, it's not Westeros or whatever the Game of Thrones bullshit is. I'm not a big fan of Game of Thrones, but whatever. It's west something. There's northwest and east. That's the those, those the funny names. The funny names for the kingdoms here. So don't forget. Uh, 
yeah, we're going to keep the uh, door shrine here so that we can use it for warps. Because we have to go back to Norden once we've dealt with the mine situation. So, dispute over the gold. We're going to go solve that dispute once and for all. I don't want to fight this one. It's a lot easier for me to run away from encounters now uh, because I have a healing monster on my party. I have the Wyvern. Wyvern's not very strong, but it has 62 magic points, which means 12 casts of heal more. Pretty good. You just kind of spend them without worrying about it much. So down here, slowly remembering the layout. I don't think this is... Yeah, it's over here. I think. That's it, that's it. We found it. Ooh, but I checked over here and got another friend staff. Wow, we are swimming in friend staffs. Friend staves. God damn it. You can save here. Right outside the mine. So, we have to go to the mine. We just have to go through here. The plot is through here, along with a whole bunch of mummies and weird creatures. Uh, I don't want to fight this. Please don't actually kill anyone. I don't want to have to save scum. A fourth turn! Game is being cruel. The odds of not being able to run away the fourth time are so low. Like, it, that's the twice, that's the second time that it's happened in this speed walk. And I cannot emphasize enough just how unlikely that is. It is so unlikely. Very disappointing. Free rib. I'm not going to say no to that. We're not recruiting very much here in ice. We're not actually going to be getting very many monsters. Yeah. Infirmore, which is a wind spell? I forget if it's a wind spell or a fire spell. It doesn't affect the tree boy. Interesting. Twin slash. That's not bad. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. And let's mark that. Tree boy. Tree boy. Boop. Monster number 17. Handed to us for free. Not bad. I'm now having doubts that I went the right way. I think I'm just headed to, like, a hidden treasure that's not very good. Uh, but since I'm here, I might as well commit. And you'll be able to see a, a dead end that's not very useful for the speed run, but that I've rediscovered for my own enjoyment. Yeah. This is the dead end. You can see that there's a treasure there. I will grab it because I'm here. It's all coming back to me, but like a couple of minutes too late. Zombie cut, not bad. Yeah, vitamin belt. Or vitality belt. Also, something that's cute is when you smash a rock, all of your monsters turn in that direction. The reason that I'm smashing the rocks is because they have a small chance of dropping a shitty amount of gold and an even smaller chance of dropping a tiny metal. The tiny metals are invaluable. I need 10 of them to complete the run, and it is not optional. A minimum of 10 tiny metals, and then any tiny metals that I can get on top of that might save me time, depending on how I use them, but I need to get 10. That's the most important thing. Which is why I'm not going to spend any of them until I get all 10 and can spend them on the thing that costs 10. Which is after the story is complete and we're in the post game. I'm not going to spoil what it is. Okay. Fine for now. I, I don't want to waste too much more of my healing. A little bit of money. 
Now I remember. Okay. Okay. First attack. Good job. Using the anti-zombie move on the zombie. We love to see it. Ice here. Cool. Breath attack. What is this? Herb. Great. There's a lot of things where it's like, ooh, I kind of want to talk about it, but I don't want to spoil it just yet. This is my last bookmark? Okay, well, I need to buy some more bookmarks. Okay, see, that's 22 gold. That's nothing, but... All right, that looks like... That looks like gold. Uh-oh. Don't you touch that. Ugh. Now, this guy has a very, very bad move that we do not want to see. Uh, hopefully, he will not use it. I think... I think he's vulnerable to rob magic. I'll use that anyway, because it seems good. It's not a spell that I would ordinarily use, but... Okay, you just fight. You don't have any specifically useful skills. 8 MP. I'll let you know if we see the very dangerous move. I don't think I need to use Twin Spell. A little bit more Rob magic. 2 MP. He might be drained. Building power. Charge up does not cost MP. So. That makes sense. Poison hit. Maybe. And he's poisoned. Good. Might finish this fight off a little bit faster. Oh wow, and he missed. Dark Crab has very good defense, so I'm not surprised that that did zero damage. Sometimes it says missed or whatever, when actually what it means is your defense was so high that you did not take any damage. There's no chip damage in this game. Except for metal monsters, but those are their own special case. One HP of damage. I guess there is kind of uh, some chip damage, but the calculations for it are weird. Dropped dead from poison, so I guess it did save time. Maybe. Radiant. Cool. Uh-oh, he used Sacrifice, which is a skill that is available in-game. But we walked away. Alright, well, it turns out that there was extremely little gold, and it did not matter. Now... We have an exit bell, but we don't need it. Because now we know outside, which does the exact same thing as an exit bell, and it costs like, what, 2 HP, or 2 MP? It's nothing. Oh, I don't have a warp staff, so I'll just use the warp wing. That'll also give me a free full heal. Which is nice. It would be about the same as going, uh, using a warp staff and then going to the inn if I also wanted the full heal, so. Doesn't really make any difference. Oh, forgot, I need to actually leave the door shrine first. So, we can now report to the king and say, you fucking idiot, there was nothing. Goddamn, what is wrong with you? I'm sure he'll love to hear that. Uh, we don't really need pork chops anymore, I'll sell them for the space. We never needed wind sta sta staves. I will sell that. Uh, I'll keep that. We definitely don't need exit bells anymore. And I just want to put the vitamin belt on someone. Who has the least HP? I guess it is the wind beast. Okay. Just a little bit of a shame, because when you equip an item that increases your HP or MP, it doesn't refill it. So he's actually missing thir uh, 30 hit points right now. Uh, buy three of these. And two of these. Do you sell bookmarks? 
We're not going to need very many bookmarks at this point. I think all of the boss fights now are in safe locations or near them. So, that works. I don't have to take the in. Also, wait, hold on. Okay, lumpy potatoes. We don't need those. Oh, it does refill. Okay, that's interesting. I think I thought it did behave that way. Well, there you go. I just got proven wrong by something that I just said. All right. King is mad. He doesn't believe me. Or any of the other people who, like, directly witnessed that there was no gold. So we get thrown in the dungeon. What the fuck? The real king? Oh, no. Well, then who's that guy up there? Oh, wait. I have to tap this. A dungeon with a secret exit sounds like a completely shitty dungeon. Kameha uses his incredibly thick skull to help open the way to freedom. Oh, it's just like in a cartoon. Okay, well, this could get rough, so I'm going to save. It's always the top one. Oh, wow, it was a monster. Okay. Well, we gotta do something about that. Stop spell. Basically, I'm just gonna, like, completely disable their ability to hurt me in basically any way. And then I will be able to, like, take my time. So that was Firebane. Now he can't use it anymore. His spells are sealed. Radiant to make him accuracy down. You just keep fighting. Sleep air did not do anything. Good. No damage to the crab. Poisoned. Alright. We're good. They fell asleep, it's okay. He's not gonna really be able to hurt them. <sighs> now we're just gonna press A. This is this is GG, I think. For us. Okay, we're not gonna just press A. Position heal thyself. Didn't even really matter, but we got it. Ironize. Ironize is... Actually, Ironize is a very interesting spell. It has uh, some unique applications. Vacuum Slash. What do we not need? Inframore is a wind spell. Well, we're not going to keep Snowstorm. Alright, so now that the king has had his doppelganger dealt with, uh, we can proceed onwards. The way that we wanted to go next was past the mine. They were not going to let us pass the mine until we dealt with the mine aspect of the plot. So now the path is clear. We're going to go to West Kingdom, whatever it was called. I'll, I will check for fun. I think actually, though, I want to go back to Great Log and buy another bookmark just for extreme safety. We're, we're just enjoying ourselves. There is a timer. The timer's more for fun than anything else. Not feeling a super dire need to pull out all the stops. You know how it is. Uh, I'll withdraw my money, too. There are some expensive items coming up, so... Oh, yeah. And I'll deposit the tiny metal that we just grabbed, also. I think this guy sells bookmarks. 
He's not open yet. Yeah. D scale, we don't need that. Just in case there's anything we need to say. No, we're good. I think it's faster to go around this way. Cool, all is well. Okay. I know what I'm going to do next. I've checked my notes. Can never save enough. That's not true. You can, but it's from from my perspective it's difficult to save too much. World leaf? Moon herb. That cures paralysis. Not very useful. I'll keep it for now. I have no reason to drop it immediately. I have inventory space free. Ooh, okay. Uh, this is probably going to take a while. I'd like to leave. Come on, knock it off. Having natural healing is so good. That cost 5 MP. And now my wyvern is completely back to full health instantly. Good stuff. Alright. This way it was blocked earlier. We're all good. Pretty sure the way to proceed is over here. Nice money. Good amount of money. Gizmo. That is a very useful monster for breeding, but we do not need it yet. And you only have a limited room on your farm for monsters, so it doesn't really make sense to uh, recruit things like now. Okay. So the princess is depressed. There's like an ongoing challenge to revive her choix de vivre. Um, Kameha does his usual thing of inflicting violence in order to have a chance to fuck everything up like a dumbass. He's just dancing like a dingus. The king says, get the fuck out of here. I agree. Uh, and uh, Kobe remembers that he's actually a circus performer, so we do our circus act again. What do you think, Yuna? Much better than that other guy, right? Come on. Let me see this smile. It's so cool. Come on. Nope. The king thinks that we were a lot better than Kameha, but even we can't do it. Ugh. Awful. Oh well. We tried our best, but since there's this princess that needs cheering up, I think we're gonna try and help her out. Um, hmm. This could be rough. I don't need to fight this one. Come on. The Slime Knights have heal. That's one of the reasons that I do not want to fight this encounter, is that it'll just take a very long time. And the Grizzly is terrifyingly strong compared to everything else around here. So everybody's doing okay enough. Cross this little river here. I don't care about that leaf. I think what we want is... 
Oh no, it's over here. It's across the bridge. So. Here's a spooky forest. Along with a rib. Which is nice. Oh, what the? Yuna? Hmm. Yuna from Final Fantasy X? That's not her. Same name, though. The monsters in the forest are actually mostly easier to deal with than the monsters uh, just outside of it, so. Also, that's a man-eater. They wrote a song about it. Uh, pretty good. Come on, Wyvern, wake up. Oof, okay. Not bad. What's up, Yuna? Okay, so this person... Oh, Yuna's soul. Okay, so this is someone's soul. It is, in fact, Yuna's soul. So... Uh, that was a great thing to just randomly run into. Um, convenient. We used the log twig earlier so we could warp straight here. Uh, how are we doing? Now we're doing great. Everybody topped off? Cool. And the wyvern still has plenty of, of uh, MP. So we can't get to the princess from here. They would just block our way. But th thankfully there's vines that take us straight here. So not bad, pretty good. Stop, don't meddle. This guy actually has the decency of asking, do you want to battle? Just in case you didn't realize what was going on. So polite. We're gonna stop his spell. We're gonna poison him. And then we don't have clean cut, so. Vacu slash. That is a wind type attack. Okay, spell's not sealed. Oh no! So our wind beast has an ability that removes confusion, but the wind beast is the one who got confused. That's rough. Shaking in fear. Oh no. Wind Beast attacked the Wyvern. Our healer is currently flummoxed, so we're going to go ahead and heal manually with one of our Spirit Love Waters. Oh, and it's over. Well, that was, that was ultimately not too bad. And we beat the weird puppet. So yeah, basically what she said was, I heard, overheard the monsters doing their evil plan. They ripped their, ripped my soul out of me. Thank you for helping me. Now the queen over in the east is probably suffering some horrible fate. You, sh uh, fate. you should go check on her. So we're going to go do that. That's some good advice. Thanks, Yuna. Glad you're feeling better, too. I almost forgot to do something before heading over to the east kingdom. So. Rib. Another nice rib. That's actually very useful because we're going to do a little bit of recruitment. Just got to find the town, which I think is right here. Yep. Herb. Useless. Another tiny metal in that barrel. This guy sells things, but he's a bit of a ripoff. Can't sell the crest that allows us to do the plot, unfortunately. Uh, this guy has nothing that we want. Top off our health and magic. Okay, so 
There is a monster that we want, and I'm pretty sure it's right around here, but I'm actually going to use a skill to confirm that. Watch this. Used to obtain information on monsters. Zero MP. Slime Knight. Gizmo. Grizzly. Crag Devil. Okay, so what we want is not actually here. Gonna have to move a little bit. Maybe it's on this uh, one. Orc. Foxfire. Grizzly and Crag Devil. We want the Orc. So let's go ahead and grab that. This is the last recruitment that we need to do where if it's the wrong star sign, we have to keep going and try again. So. Okay. Now there's one complication here, which is the orc, I believe, knows the spell that allows it to revive its dead teammates and only has a 50% chance of working. But we might have to kill them again. Uh, that would be a little bit of a a bother, but hopefully it's fine. Uh, I'm going to use Tactics Trick to make sure that only the Wind Beast is attacking. So I can use two ribs. Oh no. <sighs> See, that's exactly what I was talking about. Also, one of my monsters did not listen to me. What is wrong with them? I guess they were too stupid. Come on. Please kill it before it revives a teammate. There we go. Two ribs should do it. Yes! That's the, that's the sign that we needed. I think. What? I think? Oh no, it wasn't! Fuck. I forgot. The first two times I specifically needed a Martian one, this uh, this time I need a Venusian one. Rip! Weston, there we go. Although the castle's called something slightly different. Pork chop. Useless. Let's get the right orc this time. Shoutouts to episode one podcast. They love orcs, which I think is very justified. Ah, Wyvern, what are you doing? I told you to play defense. That is not very defensive of you. So the theme of this episode, by the way, is, wow, the game is being a lot harsher on the RNG than it really needs to be. Which is fine. I think what I just did there is uh, the item manipulation that I talked about in the first video, where if you start the game on the same frame, it has the same RNG. Like, the RNG index starts from the same place on console boot up. So, if your timing is good, uh, you will have the same map item distribution every time. So, probably that, that was first frame and my mashing was good. Um, of course, it's not particularly helpful because I don't actually want the pork chop, but it was the same item in the same place. So that's an example of what item manipulation can do, I, I assume. <sighs> Grizzly did not come back to life. One rib and kill it fast, please. There we go. What do we got? Three. All 
Alright, that time I did not get it. No. As much as I want that, it's too far out of the way. One of the things that we need is a potion, and I'm pretty sure that none of the shops in this world sell potions, or there's one that does, it's extremely far out of the way. Uh, we need potion to help our mom. But there are places in Sky that sell potions, so I'll just rely on that instead. Hello? It's one monster, we'll kill it for the experience. We don't need it. Probably faster than running away and failing once. Oh, two orcs. Two of them. Let's get that grizzly out of the way. Oh no, my wyvern is a sap. Oh man, its defense just went down. Ooh. A very rough blow to the wyvern there. We'll just heal it off with the love water. Love waters are cheap. Four. Oh yeah, there was one other thing that I wanted to say about last episode, which is I forgot to stop the timer before cutting the recording. So I pushed the timer back to a reasonable spot where I should have stopped the timer. Okay, pork chop, interesting. This time I'm gonna grab it, whatever. Potion, good, that's what we need. Maybe this time I will uh, just reject it instead of resetting. Oh, okay. So they are one screen down in addition to two screens down. Come on. Enough of this nonsense. There are female orcs, I promise you. It's worth it. It's worth it to have these monsters. I've thought this through. Use up the pork chop, why not? Alright, what do you what do you got? What is what is this nonsense? That's the fifth one. Or sixth, I'm losing down. I would like to get it before the episode is over, just for entertainment value, if nothing else. And I also don't want to do an I got it off screen with the timer running thing, which I guess maybe I'll have to do if I don't get it, but. Um. Ah, Wyvern died. That's okay. Uh-oh. Okay. They attacked the right one. Good job, team. Hmm. 
There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Twin hits. Great, that time it didn't even join me. Twin hits is the spell that does the same thing as the front staff. And now my dark crab knows it. I'll take the heal. This is really flummoxing me. And now I've saved with many of my uh, ribs spent. Because I wanted to keep the potion. Please, game. I'm not asking for a lot here. I'm asking to not get a bad roll, like, the seventh time. Oh, wait, oops. I fled and I did not mean to. Blech. Oops. That's one thing about fast tech speed is you can occasionally make mistakes. That time it's fine. Are you seeing the shit? <sighs> I... So something that I really still need to look into, clearly, is peeking behind the curtain and seeing which encounter sets have, uh, which star signs. Because some of them it's a roll and some of them it's guaranteed. I need to check to make sure that, like, it is actually possible to get a uh, Venusian Orc, because maybe it's not. I don't actually know. I'm assuming that it is. Maybe that was a bad assumption. And maybe I should have changed the star sign of the Wyvern to be female. Maybe I'll add that to my notes. I don't know. If I even end up using this route, which probably I will not. Probably I will have a different route for the next time I run through this game. Because this route, as you can see, is not very optimal. And I am almost out of time. If this next encounter is an orc, we'll do a little bit of overtime. But I also really want to respect people's time and keep these to an hour. I will, I will, I will get it offline. I'm gonna keep the timer running and I'm gonna get it offline. This is just silly. Like, this is absolutely absurd. I do not know why it's gonna take me like seven or eight or even more tries to get a Venusian Orc. Whatever, this is what the game is. I'm gonna pause the timer this time and then immediately pick it up because I'm probably just gonna do it now before moving on to the other stuff that I wanted to do today. Anyway, we're mostly done with ice. There's two more boss fights. Uh, they're easy. The penultimate boss fight especially is easy, and the last one is also very easy. But I just want to get what I came here came here for and leave, so I will take care of that uh, while you go about your other business. Thank you for continuing to join me on my adventure, and I will see you for the next episode next time.